Ladies and gentlemen, I've got a bunch of game modes. We're playing in mastery mode and we are gonna freaking do 555 towers to pray that I win. If you don't know what mastery mode is, it's basically chimps mode if it were apocalypse mode and if it were a bunch of other stupid things that I don't like. And I don't use park path that often as a map, so we're gonna go ahead and play it on it. Obviously, before I do, make sure you smash that smash button and like that like button. Let's um try not to die here, actually. This is also a pretty decent map for Corvus's soul harvest, so uh, that's always nice. But yeah, I mainly wanted this map because it does have water, so let's go ahead and put a submarine here and go twin guns we do have cross path on you know so i can go for longer range and still go barbed darts which is a nice start specifically for the advanced intel because group balloons are gonna suck early games there's not oh okay all right yeah leads i gotta make sure that i soul harvest these in the perfect time otherwise i freaking don't have lead defense besides spear but yeah something like advanced intel plus barbed darts is gonna be a great early game uh, group balloon popping power and i don't know if you guys know how quick master mode sets up or, uh, or scales up with the balloons but it's kind of stupid like directly after oh camos okay i do have spikes at the end directly after there are moabs there are freaking there's a bfb there's just a bfb kind of sitting there like hey you're gonna pop me you're gonna not pop me i don't know i also did not use my free dart monkey let's go ahead and put this right here i want to get enhanced eyesight just so that i can also go for heat tipped darts and now i can hit camo leads and die anyway well i've got the strat locked down i uh, i just don't know how to use my brain oh also when i said there's a popalypse mode look at this we've got 104 bucks it's round 13 we've got 100 48 you saw that i didn't spend anything so we're getting like 20 dollars per round plus you know the balloon pops which i think is half cash so you know this is why we're using 555 towers so ideally i want to not die go for heat tipped darts and uh, i think that's more important than even going for advanced intel right now because the camos are lackluster but i know the lead suck and now we can go advanced intel and i should be okay right a 222 submarine or a 221 submarine i should go for a 222 but i can't because i'm poor but this should be enough to carry us through at least the majority of the normal grouped balloons right it'd be beautiful if i could get a banana farm but uh i don't know if you guys can see there's nothing there there's no banana farm so i'm a little bit screwed on the money front you know we're gonna be poor for a while but let's go airburst darts while we do have the funds and also harvest while i do have my life and yeah we're just gonna try to level this guy up really to level 10 i don't think anything after that matters too too much for us okay yeah this is scary uh we're okay yeah i want to try to not use any mana if possible and round 38 we're about to have our first moabs which i know that's stupid i agree actually maybe i'm a liar maybe we're not about to have our first moabs either way i'm gonna go for triple guns i think or maybe ballistic missile because extra ceramic damage oh no i was right round 38 our first two moabs just kind of here because why and why would they be you know but we should be fine right i did make sure yeah the 232 sub can carry at least for now and now we can go triple guns to make it like 50 percent faster and here's our bfb two rounds after our first double moab experience we've got a freaking bfb and we should also be fine to this we can go ahead and soul harvest just to clear up a little bit of extra balloons but we shouldn't yeah we shouldn't be in any pickles now before anything else i need a freaking spike factory bro because of how fast i speed things up there's no reason why i shouldn't have one of these also yeah this is terrifying let's go ahead and use ancestral might here and maybe spear that should be enough hopefully oh no that's death that's death that's death i, I should have used like uh, it's, uh whatever it's called the one where it turns our mana into lives i i need to use that here probably okay but before we even do we're gonna go ahead and echo right away just so that when i soul harvest i have something to soul harvest now let's go ancestral might here and here it is soul barrier temporary uses mana you know what it says you know how to read probably so yeah we just needed that so we could get a quick break and try to get up a, a one two zero spike factory probably a one two two would be nice because smart spikes at the beginning of the round you know okay this is real scary we're gonna go echo ancestral might and then we're gonna wait we're gonna soul harvest here go for spear we can't go for aggressive which is fine but i don't think we have to right yeah that is a goaded combo echo and ancestral might bro they are crazy together and that's exactly why i'm going corvus i wanted to go benjamin until i figured out that this is chimps mode so it doesn't make sense and so corvus is our better bet here that being said i'm terrified out of my mind let's go ahead and soul harvest while we can but i think this is death as far as i'm concerned yes sorry that is way too close for me all right we've got 990 dollars we do have echo and ancestral might on corvus already although it's about to wear out so what are our options ladies and gentlemen crossbow and maybe this i don't know put this guy on strong to try and get rid of some of the moabs uh we can go sharp shots too to take care of any ceramics or whatnot soul harvest whenever possible i feel like that's a lot of balloons but i think we're okay for the most part holy crap okay we're good we're good yeah look at that 
Freaking crossbow. Okay, let's go triple shot on this guy and spike a bolt. Why not? A 333 should be very powerful, especially against these fortifies because the spike a bolt does extra ceramic damage, I think. And if they don't, then I know the sharpshooter does with its crits, which is always going to be helpful. And we'll go juggernaut. So we've got a 434 dart monkey over here. And then on the sub, we've got a 233. Would be nice to have a 243 because, you know, uh, zero MGs are coming up soon, which sounds insane because it's round 52. But, you know, that's the way things are here. But let's go Moab Shredder and Long Life Spikes as well as white hot spikes just in case so now we should be okay if any mobs get past we'll go spike balls as well and i mean ideally spike mines would be the dream does that mean it'll be the reality oh but let's just try to use soul harvest whenever we get the chance so that we can use nourishment to get this guy out we got him on level 10 here's the zomg we should be fine actually this dart monkey is genuinely cracked out of its mind way more than corvus and way more than this monkey sub look at this freaking guy shred bro hundreds of pops with every hit and the ceramics are nothing so it would be worth to go for super monkey fan club too just just in case things get a little bit scary, we can go ahead and use this guy and he will absolutely destroy anything in its way. And round 63 is lagging because uh, that was Moabs instead of Ceramic. So every single balloon got upgraded a tier, which is always fun. You know, that's always my favorite. We'll just keep on using Nourishment as long as we don't need Echo and Ancestral Might because there's no reason to let this mana go to waste. Even though it's not really leveling him up that much, we do have him at level 11, which is always better than level 10. And yeah, this part should be absolutely flawless, right? We shouldn't have any trouble whatsoever let's go ahead and nourishment again and then use the freaking this thing the soul harvest we shouldn't have any issues because the 444 dart monkey is absolutely cracked i'm gonna refrain right now from using 555s because i don't want it to be too easy you know what i mean and hey maybe i'll regret that but a video is a video so if you haven't smashed that smash button already i don't know what you're doing all right yeah with round 75 things are starting to get a little bit scarier here to the point where i'm kind of worried about oh my goodness the lag you know obviously that is a bunch of of freaking moabs bro why even obviously like i was gonna say i do have super monkey fan club so i don't have to be that terrified however it's probably better to still be cautious than to not be cautious so look this is him after shredding everything with the super monkey fan club so we're okay still i've got twenty five thousand dollars so i should probably put that to use should i actually i feel like i shouldn't and the reason for that is because if i ever want to get a freaking tier five i probably shouldn't make it hard on myself here's round 78 again a bunch of moabs instead of ceramics which is always very very scary i wish they had elite targetings for like towers that weren't snipers but i understand why they don't but i don't know i feel like that'd come in handy so freaking often like look this would be great if whenever balloons when they got to like right over here on this little bend like the inner bend if this guy just suddenly went from strong to first but instead you know i gotta do it i gotta do it manually that's a bad on round 80 ladies and gentlemen obviously we're fine just a little bit of echo and central might you know we'll do a little bit of harvesting probably get up uh, what am I doing? A recovery. Actually, I don't know why I went for recovery there. I'm still learning how to use this guy, by the way, but uh, that was probably bad. And that also was bad. Whatever I did with the soul thing there. I didn't realize that that's only good for group balloons, but let's go for ancestral might once again, and we should be fine. Yeah, we're okay, but it's scary. At this point, I mean, look, we've got 220 pops on the submarine. We've got freaking probably 100,000. Yeah, 137,000 on Corvus, and we've got 1.2 million on the dart monkey. So we see who the real freaking bad bad guy is here it's the dart monkey bro he well i guess not bad guy but you know what i mean like he's the insane one he's the one carrying absolutely everything and we definitely need to put him on first here because that is scary and it's too scary for me and i, I start pooping my pants let's go spike mines and spike storm over here i don't think we need deadly but this spike storm should help out a crap ton with the moabs that start scaring the crap out of me and just in case we do still have enough money for crossbow master which is always nice now i think i'm gonna uh use nourishment until level 15 which is probably only this round yeah one more there we go we got him level 15 15. In a way, with Corvus, uh, you kind of want to like stall out when there's a bunch of group balloons and just kind of let him soul absorb it all and then use nourishment to upgrade him way faster. I I'm not microing him, so I'm not going to do that. But that's really good for like if you want to do 2TC with Corvus or maybe even 1TC with Corvus. You do want to stall out the grouped balloons as much as you can. Anyway, there's two BADs on my screen right now. So obviously we're using as many Super Monkey Fan Club abilities as we can and we should be fine because of that. Yeah, we're good. And we're only on round 86, so that means round 100 is gonna suck, and round 140 is gonna suck even more. So make sure you stay in tune, because uh, I, I don't want to deal with this, but I have to. It also is nice that I have the Spike Storm, and I probably should be utilizing this guy way more than I am. So you know what we're gonna do? He looks funky, by the way. Look at this guy. He's got this purple, bluish, greenish look going on. I don't really know what that is, but it looks fun. But what we're gonna do... I'm starting to run out of Ted Bots, bro. I need to buy a couple more. We're gonna plop down a Ted Bot somewhere far and out of range, because it's not like I need 
farming space. So we're going to go ahead and put this guy, uh, if I can do it. Yeah, we're going to put him on the spike factory. There we go. So now whenever this guy can launch, he's going to launch and things will be all nice and awesome. And again, we're still only using tier four towers. So maybe I should up how many towers I have. So we'll start out with a V lodge, which I think I'm going to try to put right in here if possible. However, that may not be possible. So instead, I think it'd be a great idea if I can get up an ice monkey right over here and just go for an arctic wind because I'm gonna want an ice monkey anyways. Now we're gonna go uh, right over here, bigger radius. That should hit, yeah, hits the dar monkey, perfect. And now we're gonna go with monkey business, monkey commerce, grow blocker, radar scanner, jungle drums, primary training, and mentoring, or primary mentoring. So we got a 4-2-2 here, which is gonna significantly buff our 4-4-4 dart monkey as well as, you know, you can already see it from the radius on our arctic wind. This guy's unupgraded, by the way. I'm gonna upgrade him to a 2-2 and probably a 4-3-2 because embrittlement is always nice, especially with a big old range. Actually, I still feel like the range is not as great as it should be. That was scary. Did you see that freaking fortified DDT? Okay, let's go cryo cannon really up the range. And now I think we should be good against most mobs, right? Yeah, monkey town isn't going to help us. I don't believe so. We're not going to get that. Um, I don't think anything that'll help us make money will actually help us, but we will go ahead and look at the radius on this guy. That is a juicy radius for this freaking map. Let's go ahead and put a glue gunner, you know, as far up to the start as we can, because we want to go for a freaking relentless glue with glue splatter and glue soak. We'll go up. Uh, we'll go glue hose even. Actually, glue, glue strike even. Why not? Glue strike is always nice because it means we can do plus one damage to whatever we need to. And yeah, at this point, Corvus is just kind of doing his own thing. I'll nourishment him whenever I can, really, because I don't need to use Echo and Ancestral Might. That combo is beautiful, by the way. That helps us so freaking much. But yeah, at this point, it's just nourishment, nur nourishment, nourishment. I can't say that three times fast. But yeah, at times like this, like it's nice to be able to go for Ancestral Might and uh, Echo because this guy should be doing, yeah, he's doing big damage. Oh my goodness. But really, I just want to nourish him as much as I can. You know what I mean? I want to be able to level him up as fast as possible, get him to level 20 so I don't have to worry about him anymore. And then I believe mana gives us money, which is going to be great. I don't know if it works in chimps. I've heard that it works in deflation, which may have gotten patched, but I don't know if it works in chimps. We're going to try it out, of course. If so, that would be wonderful. You know, I would not complain whatsoever about that. Let's go ahead and soul drain here. At this point, I feel like I can kind of just uh, like infinitely echo and ancestral might because once i use this look it just goes up to max and now i don't care it's ancestral might why not i don't care echo why not i could just use it again and then nourishment look at that we're level 18 however these moabs are kind of scaring the butt out of me right now a glue strike yeah glue strike should buff it heavily because this guy shoots really fast especially when he's got his ability on glue strike plus a freaking oh you know what actually speaking of things that you know help a little balloon sabo sticky bomb ninja discipline shouldn't be the worst in the world we are still gonna get it in the in the village because you know price buff but we'll go balloon sabo sticky bomb sharp sure or ninja discipline i guess we'll go sharp shurikens i don't think it helps all that much and this isn't even round 100 ladies and gentlemen this is round 97 we have two fortified bad's we should be fine but damn is it scary we'll go echo ancestral might and then we'll go ahead and soul drain whatever we need to do just to try and get up nourishment as fast as possible i'll take that that works and we should be fine here right this is scary but we should be okay it's just fortified zomgs on round 97 it can't be that bad we can always micromanage the ancestral might too which is nice uh let's put this guy on strong because we might as well and now when things get scary we just go ahead and glue strike boom super monkey fan club freeze everything uh, i don't even have to balloon sabo i could if i wanted to but it's not going to make too much of a difference we can glue strike again ice everything and we should be fine right this is a crap ton of balloons by the way look at how many tens of thousands almost over a hundred thousand over a hundred thousand rbe just in that little patch of balloons alone not even for the whole round and we are on round 99 i don't even know what happens on round 100 it might be a balloon areas because why wouldn't it be we're on level 19 on corvus um we definitely do want to get that level 20 for extra moab damage okay when i said this i didn't think it would actually happen well uh, i mean here we are i can't change that oh this is weird okay um you know what we could use we can use a little helicopter i'd love to get it at a price discount but I guess that's not gonna happen, so whatever. We're gonna go for- Oh, I can't even go for support chin hook, bro. I need a thousand more dollars. So I guess this guy's just gonna be trying to do as much damage as he can. We're gonna go ahead and use this ability right here for the Super Monkey Fan Club. We just wanna try to knock it down as much as we can with pure popping power. There's not much else we can do. I can't really use uh, the abilities against it. I don't think- I don't think glue strike works against bosses. At least not like it does against normal balloons. But yeah, at this point, I'm just spamming four here. Uh, we can go for a little balloon drainage probably, right? To get out of- to get these pink balloons. But that doesn't look like it did us any good. So we'll try for... 
Oh, glue strike does actually seem to work, which should help us do. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we did a lot of extra damage with that. We got a zero zero bomb shooter, which is sucks. But really what I want here is a support chin hook. And I probably should have got this guy in the range of the village so that, you know, we could have got that little price buff and we probably would have already had support chin hook by now, but whatever we didn't and I can't. So at this point, it's really just about not dying, which is a new meta that I actually just created. You know, it's called not dying. Let's go ahead and echo ancestral might and um i don't even know what else overload probably just anything to do damage at this point oh am i scared okay uh oh are we bad are we good i don't know what we're doing here i think we're actually okay as scary as this looks we should be completely fine oh uh, it gets close but damn are we okay it's only round 102 we are going up until 140 ladies and gentlemen i don't really know how i'm gonna manage this but let's go ahead we've got support chin hook now which means we can move this freaking guy all over the board so we're gonna put him in a decent spot so maybe right here is good because then we'll have full map coverage right that is our goal with this right now let's go ahead and uh echo and probably ancestral might just again ancestral might yeah we've got him on level 20 which is goaded and now this converts our mana to cash does it work oh my goodness it does okay wait so mana farming just became super duper duper valuable over here let's go ahead and put this guy on strong i don't know what i'm doing him not being on strong is actually genuinely hindering me right now also, I have no idea what to use, like, Soul Barrier. Is that it? An extra 800 lives won't do the most in the world, but it might do something. I don't know. We're not getting any money from the supply drop, though, so it sucks to suck, I guess. Um, while we wait, we can just spam everything, I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah, this is a little too scary for my taste, and this is probably death, isn't it? Oh, wait, it's close. Wait, it's close. Wait, it's very close, actually. It's really close. Um, we can go ahead and use these two combined. We want a Spike Storm. That would be absolutely huge among us for us right here but we don't want to leak right let's go ahead and uh oh i don't have an oh my goodness round 103 bro uh, okay we're gonna go ahead and restart and now we're gonna try for tier fives i think tier fives should be an absolute game changer here so this time we're gonna start off with our dark monkey right here because uh this spot is gonna be absolutely beautiful but we still have to kind of micromanage the beginning you know with the leads and whatnot and i don't have the submarine this time which i probably should get however i think i'm gonna save up for uh a bomb shooter and what i'm gonna do uh should i yeah I'll, I'll use nourishment here i was gonna save it but now i'm not gonna save it i want to have spear available for whenever things get a little bit too scary um this is included but spear actually won't work here so i just kind of have to pray yeah i wanted a bomb shooter and i can't afford an alchemist so we're gonna have to soul snatch there and then uh, i guess we'll go nourishment again because i'm about to get a bomb shooter up right so this guy should take care of the leads for us obviously he's not the greatest in the world he's a clean bomb shooter Shooter, but is better than nothing and at this point i've got four road spikes left so it is all about not dying thankfully we do have spear to take advantage of whenever we do need it and now we can go crossbow and spike a pole and we should be okay against camos purples and etc i really want to get sharpshooter before oh yeah it doesn't look like that's happening doesn't look like that's happening at all all right i gotta do something here nourishment at the beginning probably makes sense and then we soul harvest here and then probably spear and we should be fine right because yeah i do want to save up for this sharp shooter before the moabs even come out so there we go and now we should be fine right i don't have to worry about anything except for leads crap i mean spear will take care of them okay there's the bfb it's only leads at this point and now i've got that taken care of with the juggernaut okay so i don't need to use spear anymore i'm good against camos good against leads good against group balloons good against solo balloons and i'm good against everything but now i'm not having any mercy you know i'm not gonna be like oh i'll take it easy on the balloons i'll just go for a freaking tier four no i'm going full throttle we're gonna get up our village you know go for our tier four uh primary mentor I don't even need the monkey business bottom path or whatever right now. I just need this mainly for the range, not for anything else, just really for the range. And I think Super Monkey Fan Club buffs the range too. So yeah, Super Monkey Fan Club, it does not buff the range. I don't know why I thought it would. But at this point, you already know what we're saving for. It's the Ultra Jugger. Okay, no, it's not. It's obviously the Crossbow Master because that's the cheapest one that's actually good. And of course, we're lagging round 63 because 9 million freaking Moabs. Why wouldn't be? Why well, would well, 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 it be lagging? Yeah, I said what I said. Okay, let's, uh, let's actually nerd whenever we can on this guy because i'm just kind of wasting mana so yeah we're just trying to level this guy up i did not mean to use soul barrier not let it not like it matters but whatever we just want to level this guy up as much as physically possible until we get the crossbow monkey which is really soon actually only a thousand dollars left but let's still okay yeah we're good we're good let's go crossbow master and now we should be absolutely set especially when we go super monkey fan club we are lagging a crap ton and this guy has an absolutely beautiful range look at that bro that's basically full map coverage that's as much as you're gonna get now we can go grow block radar scanner doesn't really matter at this 
moment. And I don't know if a 555 is going to be worth it, but Ultra Juggernaut plus a Crossbow Master? I mean, hey, that, that's some good damage. And combined with the Super Monkey Fan Club should be, yeah, look at that. That was absolutely amazing. We've got the round 80 BAD and it's about to be gone. Look at those super freaking darts, bro. The only problem that they have is that there's not three of them coming out like it does with the Triple Dart Monkey, which means that the accuracy of it is kind of scary, especially when you have faster moving balloons. But we're just going to pretend like it doesn't exist right now. But look at this. Round 85, two BADs shouldn't be a single problem, ladies and gentlemen. We might actually be able to save up for Monkey Fan Club and after, or Plasma Monkey Fan Club, excuse me. And after we get that, like, we are set. We don't have to worry about anything. I mean, right now, I don't even have to worry about anything. You know what I mean? I'm going all willy-nilly. I'm probably doing things that I didn't have to do. You know, I'm being a little bit excessive, a little bit sloppy, but it's okay because I've got freaking Plasma Monkey Fan Club and Crossbow Master in one tower. And I'm scared now, actually, but I don't need to be. Yeah, DDTs are a little bit frightening always, basically forever and always. But let's go for, uh, I want to get up a Spike Storm and White Hot Spikes and, you know, all the extra stuff. Spike Balls and whatnot, just so that I can freaking survive the DDTs. That's the main thing, right? DDTs are really scary. Round 100 shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. We can go ahead and Spike Storm, you know, just to get a little bit of extra damage in there. A couple extra thousand doesn't uh, help or doesn't hurt, but yeah, we got a Beast Handler. Obviously, we won. I mean, I expected 555s to go way faster than a freaking 444. Uh, maybe not this fast, though, because this fast is a little bit scary. And yeah, at this point, like, I'm being so sloppy. We're still not even at level 19 for freaking Corvus. Not that it matters. Okay, now we are, but like, you know, it doesn't really affect us. Now, the only critique I can even have with the Dart Monkey is that he's only good with the ability up, right? So let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna double Tedbot over here. We're gonna go one Tedbot for the Spike Storm and we're gonna go one Tedbot for the Dart Monkey. And now, obviously, it's better than not to have freaking more 555s than one. To have more towers in general. So before we even do, though, I think I do want to buff this Dart Monkey up a little bit. We go, uh, yeah, Acidic Mixture Dip just to test the waters, although I don't know if it's working on him. But we're gonna go Stronger Stimulant on Faster Throwing and whatnot just to, uh, just to buff the shots that it does buff. It won't be many, but it'll be enough. And now I think we're gonna go for a cannon again. This guy's not in range, and that's the reason why I'm not doing it on this guy. Ooh, you know what? Actually, yeah, it's probably best to start spamming nourishment because then we're gonna get way more cash, huh? I completely forgot I can just put this guy in the water. That is gonna be our best bet here. We're gonna go for recursive cluster and of course Moab Mauler and Moab Assassin and then try to go for that top path. This guy's just gonna try to be our Moab destroyer. Hopefully he works. If not, then he doesn't work, I guess. I don't know. But he looks like he's doing a fair bit of damage. I don't know if it's anything compared to our freaking Dart Monkey, bro. But I guess once we get Moab Eliminator, maybe? I mean, really, the dream is Moab Crush, or Bloon Crush, rather. But let's go for a Glue Gunner, because Relentless Glue is still goaded. Although, I have to find, like, these little spots in here. I know this is possible. There we go. Okay, yeah, look at that. I want to go for the... Uh, oh, my goodness. I should have gone for Monkey Commerce, bro. Whatever. Okay. Well, we'll make the money's worth by just buying more stuff. You know, obviously, I want to go for a Bottom Path Icicles as well with Embrittlement. So, a 444 overall would be nice on the uh, on the Ice Monkey specifically. DDT still scared the crap out of me. So maybe uh, instead of going for Snowstorm, we're going to go for MIB. Oh, that's because I didn't have camo on my freaking Moab Assassin. That's why. We, uh, is this a double balloon, uh, whatever they're called? A double Bloonarius? A triple Bloonarius? Dude, it's round 119 and there are three Bloonariuses on my screen right now. Just kind of chilling. All right, well, let's not forget, you know, amidst all the heat, let's go for nourishment and, you know, use these as much as we can ha to have some more mana. And then Ancestral Might, you know, if we want to you know, spear too, if we want to. Now, how much does nourishment give us? We've got 219. Okay, it gives us a dollar per, which is 800 bucks per nourishment. That's actually pretty impressive. So one thing I'm probably gonna wanna do with this information now is just spam nourishments as much as I can, then spam recoveries and then nourishments again, because I want as much money as I can get my hands on. And I think what I really want here is to be able to go up for like a perma spike. If I could go for super mines, I mean, I'd be done with the game. But yeah, I probably... Probably instead of going for like a 344 bomb or even the Moab glue, I probably should have just went for Perma Spike right off the bat. Round 122 is stupid, bro. Look at the balloon density over here. Even my Alchemist says almost 42,000 pops. Like the B the RBE here is stupid. Round 123, just a fortified BAD to start things off because why not? Oh, this round is actually kind of scary. Hopefully we're okay here. Uh-oh. Holy crap, ladies and gentlemen, we are falling and that was almost death all right so let's try to use my brain here obviously we want to be able to spam nourishment as much as physically possible so if we wait a little bit and then boom we should be up to 
800 nourishment up oh, come on nourishment thank you then we soul harvest recovery just to get back up to 800 see man i should have gone for ultra jug bro but now i can go for nourishment again it's probably more com or more sensical to go comical more sensical to go for echo and central might even though it's not going to do the most damage in the world it's still going to be more than nothing i can't get up another 444 32 thousand dollars is not in the budget however glue strike is so maybe that's what we want to go for probably at the beginning and not at the end but you get the point but if we can still go for it now maybe there's a little bit of hope here and i don't even know what we can go for it's just as much stuff as we can and yeah it's not looking the hottest for us okay i put down a druid for no reason but maybe glue storm can save us yeah we can or glue strike excuse me glue storm is the next one but if we do glue storm on top of is there anything else mib maybe but that didn't really help maybe i can go for another alk try to double alk our freaking guy over here so yeah we'll glue strike immediately and you know what i might as well put a ted bot up on our freaking cannon and then um we do that and then we do that just to try and get a little bit extra cheese here a little extra dough we'll glue strike again we got to make sure we're glue striking on time of course uh nourishment again soul harvest you know just keep doing the, the tango use a little trample then go to ancestral might i probably should have went for echo ancestral might instead but whatever now we'll go echo spear aggression um ember no not ember maybe repel if this works against moabs at all uh we can glue strike again but it doesn't look like it's gonna be too worth it here come on ability come on oh dude it's real close it's real close are we good come on round 123 yes let's go now uh obviously it's not over yet we still have round 124 but let's go for nourishment and try to get up as much money as possible i really want to go for an ultra juggernaut just to max out on our 555 freaking dart monkey because if we can get that up i think we're gonna be okay at this point yeah we are starting to lag crazy i can't even x25 speed anymore but let's just keep trying to get up you know as much dough as we can make sure to uh exploit uh corvit court what is his name corvus or corvus corvus let's try to exploit corvus as much as possible at this point i should probably just put a ted bot on the glue strike too because i'm kind of tired of not timing it right all right we're getting real close to being able to afford this which is wonderful i think that this last nourishment right here should be it ultra juggernaut okay come on ultra juggernaut there we go now this guy should be doing oh my goodness look at the freaking balls on the screen bro i gotta turn down the freaking effects i mean even this is probably bad bro my bit rate's probably terrible the quality probably looks awful let me try to up the bit rate on this video live we'll do a uh, 10,000 instead of 7,500 we should be good on that hopefully the quality looks a little bit better but now i mean we're still not done of course we still want to go for recovery and you know other stuff but this guy's gonna be doing way more damage gonna be helping us get to round 140 i at least want to beat this which by the way i don't know how you're supposed to beat this if you don't freaking have ultimate cross path on like that might be a challenge for maybe a live stream i do want to start streaming so make sure you're subscribed but you know until then i guess we're just never gonna know but there are still of course things that we can definitely go for and one of those things that would be like a dream come true would be a call to arms bro 50 percent more attack speed and pops on a 555 tower that's stupid that's dumb that's too much buff also this is terrifying but i think we're okay actually okay i'm starting to think we might not be okay and just like that i think we're okay again yeah okay you know what'll also be nice to have a uh, boomer the problem really lies in where i put the village which you know unfortunate unlucky whatever but i want to go up for a moab press and then a middle path like a bionic boomerang so that we can start pushing some of these moabs back because the zomgs you know the fortified zomgs because everything's freaking fortified that's scary that's very scary and i don't want to be scared so if instead of being scared i can just go for like a three four four boomerang over here and not have to be scared i think that's a sacrifice i'm very willing to make and with that we most definitely most definitely have to exploit the freaking nourishment on corvus over here because without it we'd be making no money and at this point slow money is so much better than no money so yeah right now we're just trying to cash as many checks as we can because we do have uh, we have like decent fortified bad damage with our 555 over here it's good enough i i really regret this bomb shooter bro i should not have made that mistake but i already did it's not like i can go back but yeah see how we're pushing these guys back i mean these are basically stalled right they're actually going backwards a little bit but that plus turbo charge that is going to be an absolute game changer so let's go for nourishment again we only need one more until we can actually like stop which we're not going to but we could if we wanted to which is always a nice option to have all right perfect we can go for turbo charge that is huge and we're actually going to switch the hand a little bit because i feel like this fits the map a little better than the uh the right hand does and 
to think, is this guy getting crits? No, he's not getting crits. But what we are going to do is we're going to turn on a freaking Ted bot for this guy. So now he should be doing decent damage, but mostly decent pushback. And that is exactly what we need for these later rounds is just to be able to stall, you know, DDTs, fortified ZOMGs, and, you know, everything lower than that. Can't stall Moabs or, or BF, BADs rather, not BFBs. We can't stall BADs because we kind of suck, but whatever. Let's take this off strong, by the way. Strong sucks for this guy because he's supposed to be targeting the last balloons, which is the first balloon. If that, does that make sense? Like the closest balloons to the end of the track. That's what we want to target here. And let's not forget to use our nourishment on Corvus to get that extra $800 every once in a, uh, once in a while. Oh, we are starting to lag, but it's okay because it's almost around 140, which is probably at this point, at this point, I would expect an elite tier five balloon areas just to finish things off. Maybe even a ghost balloon, which means I'd have to go for like an 030 druid. But yeah, we are starting to lag here, ladies and gentlemen. It's round 138. It's almost been an hour since I started playing. This has been 48 minutes. It's been a while. Um, more glaives is always nice to have because faster throwing, more pierce, more Moab damage, I guess. We can also go over here. Okay, we can't right now, but I can still go ahead and, and you know, try to put up a little alchemist over here. Try to get him real close to him, but also without, you know, getting him in the range of other towers because I don't want him to hit other towers. And I don't know if it's going to last that much. I don't know if it's worth it, but you know, we can go for perishing potions. We can go for faster throwing and we're on round 139, ladies and gentlemen. This is the second to last round before we finally beat master mode, which uh, it's harder than it looks, which is scary when you have ultimate cross path on because again, I have no idea. Okay. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. The freaking elite tier five balloon areas, just like I said it would be. What a shocker. So now this guy actually doesn't need to be here. He doesn't do anything. I don't think, I don't think he stuns anything. And uh, at this point, there's not much we can do. All we can do is just kind of sit here and watch in like 5x speed. That's a normal balloon areas on top of an elite. Okay, that's a fortified BAD. So maybe this guy actually is going to be helpful because he's going to be stalling the insides. But uh, yeah, we'll just target strong on this guy for right now, I think. Is that the move? Is that the move? I don't know. Because I mean, we've got normal balloons taken care of, but then we've got like DDTs and stuff over here. And those kind of give me the freaking spooks. Um, What we will do is echo ancestral might, harvest, and then spear and probably uh, do this so that we're still gaining mana, even though I'm using spear. And this should be doing, yeah, a crap ton of damage over here, especially with all of these group balloons and whatnot. You know, it's just better to be safe than sorry, even though this guy does take care of the group balloons too. And so does a bomb shooter. You know, he's got 1.2 mil, which compared to the boomerang, I mean, he's been around way longer than the boomerang. Compared to Corvus, he's kind of lining up with Corvus a little bit. The glue gunner isn't doing any damage, but he is helping out. Holy crap. Okay, we got the regular balloon areas down with, and that's great. Um, Just one problem, and that's everything else. Let's pray we get some balloons in Corvus's range sometime soon, because I want to freaking soul harvest so that I don't have to not have spear up. All right, well, there goes my spear. Hopefully this does anything. Yeah, it's, it's looking, oh, a little bit more. But yeah, we're probably not going to be relying on Corvus too much. I mean, he's not the strongest against the freaking elite tier five balloon areas. Okay, we got to be careful with just the freaking random BFB just chilling. Oh my goodness, wait, we popped it. We popped the elite tier five balloon areas. We freaking beat master mode, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap, $660. That is a lot of money. Holy crap, bro. 88.6 million pops on this guy. Second to him, I assume, was a spike factory at only 2.2 mil. I don't think anyone else got above the spike factory, right? It's all below. Holy freaking crap. I can't believe I actually beat it. I, I knew I was going to at the beginning, but then I started doing it and I thought I wouldn't. Also, I don't know what this is about.